It is, of course, the day after Thanksgiving here in the United States, and that means a big day of shopping. It's called Black Friday because for many retailers, it's when they turn profitable. Now, the year, this year, Black Friday sales are expected to top $21 billion as millions head to stores in search of bargains and that perfect holiday gift. Rosa Kazan takes us shopping. The cheering, the chasing, and the holiday spirit. Black Friday, America's biggest shopping day of the year, was once again in full swing across the United States. With steep discounts turning the day after Thanksgiving into bargain hunting free for all. We got Mickey, we got some tools, we got the fire rescue stuff. I don't know what else I can do some damage with, but I'm going to go find out. Shopping damage that has become a holiday tradition. Americans love to shop. And this year, it seems Americans seem to love it even more than ever. While most stores traditionally opened in the early hours of the morning, many were ready for business at midnight or even 8 p.m. on Thursday. We opened at midnight this year um, it, to stay competitive with the other stores in the area. Stay competitive and lure in those who are ready to start their Christmas shopping. The stakes are very high for U.S. retailers on this day. They can earn more than one-third of their annual sales or up to 50% of their profits during the holiday shopping season. And it all starts with Black Friday. And will retailers be ready to open even earlier next year? Absolutely. Um, business is definitely a big um, winning game for me. So as the store manager here, I would definitely take the challenge. While online sales are expected to surge even more, marketing experts believe sitting on your couch just doesn't cut it. There's something about when you come into a mall, you hear holiday music, the hustle and the bustle, seeing the holiday decor, the 50-foot Christmas tree. The National Retail Federation says 147 million people plan to shop this holiday weekend. With consumer confidence seemingly on the rise, and worries over a U.S. fiscal cliff failing to dampen appetites for one of America's favorite pastimes. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Arlington, Virginia.